Hey there. I'm not going to take credit for discovering this. I'm quite a bit older that was showing this technique. This is an iPad who is stuck at this screen. I try the home button and the power button together, holding them down just like that. Unplug it. Unplug it, you get this graphic. Nothing will start it. I spent multiple days trying to get this to start up. I found a technique which seems to work. This here is a space heater with a hair dryer. I don't own a hair dryer. Still stuck at this screen. A hair dryer is the technique that I've seen used. Face the back towards where the heat is coming out. This is not a sanctioned Apple technique. Would not recommend it. I would say do this if your iPad is old. I'm keeping this several inches from the heat source. Keep putting the heat onto the back here. I believe the battery is right around in this space, but I can't guarantee it. And I just keep moving it around. I don't put it in one spot. You will want it warm to the touch, not hot. Once warmed, I plug it in and I set it face down. Do not apply the heat to your screen. I believe taking it to a repair facility and having them put a new battery into the device will probably fix this issue. If I leave this iPad plugged in, that it runs flawlessly. It only seems to have the issue when I let it run completely out of battery. Once this turns off is when the issue occurs where I can't get it to boot back up. I believe we've reached a point here where it's, it's pretty warm on the back. I bet you this is sufficient. So let's take it over and plug it in and let it rest for a moment and we'll see if we have an iPad. I'd say it's a little bit warmer now. I took this iPad straight from shutting down. My experience is this will power itself on. And it does not seem to be doing that. Oh, yeah, it did. So there you go. I expected it to make the little charging sound, but as you can see, we have a fully booted iPad here. Apparently a sensor within the lithium ion battery gets triggered when extremely low voltage happens, and the only way to untrigger it is to heat it up. This is not an Apple sanctioned option. If they find out you did this, I'm sure any warranties that might exist on your old iPad, which I don't know what those are, but I ain't the warranty guy, will be void. Uh, but it seems to work on an old iPad that was uh, destined for the trash heap. and uh, or, or other option was to uh, spend $100 to get the battery replaced on it at Batteries Plus. So it works. Uh, Hope this helps y'all. Enjoy.